Hi, it's Katrina. From a fortress city with headless skeletons to strange artwork left behind by a lost people, here are 10 mysterious artifacts scientists can't explain. Number 10. Shimao. Before the ongoing global coronavirus pandemic hit, archaeologists working in China's Lois Plateau in the northernmost part of Shangxi province uncovered over six miles of walls that once belonged to a magnificent fortress city. National Geographic reported that inside is a 230-foot pyramid, as well as painted murals, jade objects, and other beautiful artifacts. The team found 70 stone relief sculptures at the site depicting things like monsters, serpents, and half-human beasts. Perhaps the most disturbing discovery was that of 80 headless human skeletons contained within six pits near the city's eastern wall, indicating the possibility of a ritual decapitation that took place while the wall's foundation was laid. This could represent the earliest known evidence of a human sacrifice. The city's original name is unknown, but the ruin site is now called Shimao, and its evidence dates back 4,300 years, roughly two millennia before the oldest part of the Great Wall was constructed. Shimao was mysteriously abandoned after peaking between 2,300 and 1,800 BC, roughly 500 years before the earliest Chinese inhabitants arrived hundreds of miles to the south. Its existence is not mentioned in any ancient texts, as far as experts can tell, as large, complex societies from that far north remain conspicuously absent from the historical record. The city, which was bigger than Manhattan's Central Park, is considered China's largest Neolithic settlement. Shimao was extremely well fortified and was situated in the borderlands between warring Central Plains farmers and northern steppe herders, leading researchers to believe that its residents routinely faced danger. Historians are both perplexed and fascinated by the finds, which are causing them to rethink the beginnings of Chinese civilization. Number 9. Ancient Egyptian Head Cones Archaeologists have long wondered about coffee cup-sized, cone-shaped hats that people are often seen wearing in ancient Egyptian artwork. Until recently, experts were unsure whether these hats ever actually existed, or if they were symbolic. Finally, in late 2019, researchers uncovered two of the headpieces in 3,300-year-old burials at Akhetaten, a unique archaeological site containing the ruins of one of ancient Egypt's most unusual cities. The three-inch tall hats, which were cream-colored and seemed to be made of beeswax, were found in the graves of low-ranking laborers, with the cones entangled in their intact hair. So they were definitely real, and not just symbolic. Researchers detailed their findings in the journal Antiquity, pointing out that the confirmed physical existence of the cone hats dispels any theories about them being symbolic of status in ancient Egyptian artwork. The artifacts also challenged the theory that the cones were made of a substance that melted in the sun and cleansed the wearer's head and body. Oddly, however, artwork implies that upper-class members of society wore the cones more commonly than low-ranking citizens, yet the hats were found in a worker cemetery. Were the laborers' cones perhaps a way of imitating elite style? That's one possibility. As archaeologists now know, finding evidence of the cone hats was merely the first step in trying to untangle the mysteries surrounding them. Who knew a hat could lead to so many questions? Number 8. Swimming Reindeer This strange elongated object was actually carved by humans. Around 13,000 years ago, in what is now France, someone carved a sculpture of two swimming reindeer out of the tip of a mammoth tusk. It was discovered in two pieces in 1866, and a French Catholic priest and archaeologist realized during the early 20th century that the pieces fit together to form the image of two reindeer, a larger stag followed by a smaller female, swimming nose to tail. Can you see it? Do you see it? Created during the Late Ice Age, a period that eventually became known as the Magdalenian, the sculpture shows that humans, reindeer, and mammoths existed at the same time at some point in history. When the artifact was made, the region experienced a climate much like modern-day Siberia. The 8.7-inch long sculpture's exact purpose or use is unknown. Experts speculate that it may have been a totem of some sort, which represented an individual or group, or it perhaps represented a myth or had an allegorical meaning related to the circle of life and survival. 
What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Ancient Rock Art Figures Back in 1891, an Australian rancher named Joseph Bradshaw got lost and discovered thousands of dancing red figures painted on the wall of a rock shelter in the country's sparsely populated Kimberley region. The slender figures, called guions, looked like nothing he or anyone else at the time had ever seen before. There are actually thousands of figures with detailed headdresses, tassels, boomerangs, and spears. This style is very different from other cave art found in the area. Archaeologists were mystified, unable to determine who painted the figures, when, or why. That all changed earlier this year, when scientists came up with a very creative way to date the paintings. They were finally able to determine their age based on carbon dating of fossilized wasp nests found along the same rock faces. This helps date the artwork to around 12,000 years ago, give or take 500 years. This is the closest experts have come so far to unraveling the mystery of the figures, since the ochre pigment they were created with is not datable. At the time, the last ice age was rapidly ending, causing sea levels to rise. As a result, the Kimberley region that the Guion people inhabited shrank by as much as half displacing populations and forcing people to relocate inland. Researchers believe that the figures depicted in the cave art may reflect the chaos of the changing environment. While the Guion people remain largely a mystery to experts, the ability to date their artwork partially solves the puzzle, allowing them to focus on answering other questions about the ancient society and the conditions they lived in. Number 6. Sahara Stone Structures in 2018, archaeologists working in the little explored Western Sahara region of Africa revealed the discovery of hundreds of strange stone structures of all shapes and sizes, thought to date back thousands of years. The findings remain unexplained, with experts unsure who built them or why. Some of the structures are circular while others are crescent-shaped, rectangular, or built in straight lines, and the builders also combined these shapes. These people really liked shapes and lines. The researchers believe that some of these formations were used for marking graves, but they don't know what their other purposes were. It's difficult to determine the structure's ages given the lack of surrounding artifacts, although some sites contain human remains dating back roughly 1,500 years. War between Morocco and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, which lasted until 1991, largely prevented scientific digs from happening in the Western Sahara. Since then, archaeologists have just started excavating throughout the region, and fieldwork very rarely occurs due to security concerns. But there are, no doubt, plenty more artifacts waiting to be discovered, which will help reveal the region's untold history. Number 5. Mitanni Empire Palace A drought that plagued Iraq in 2018 caused the waters of the Mosul Dam to recede, revealing the ruins of a 3,400-year-old palace belonging to the Mitanni Empire, one of the region's least understood ancient civilizations. Archaeologists rushed to retrieve the artifacts from the banks of the Tigris River while they had the chance, adding to the mere handful of evidence of the Mitanni Empire that has ever been found. As the waters rose, re-submerging the ruins, the team gathered what they could, including 10 cuneiform clay tablets and bright red and blue wall paints. German researchers hope to learn more about the Mitanni Empire by interpreting the tablets. The society is so little studied, experts have not even identified its capital city, although they do know that it once ruled over parts of Syria and northern Mesopotamia. They also believe the Mitanni Empire existed between the 16th and 13th centuries BC, during which time it wielded great power over the region, but apparently they have left little behind for us to learn more about them. Number 4. Church in a Fortress a 2019 study by archaeologists working in Durban, Russia, a city along the Caspian Sea, asserts the possible presence of one of the world's oldest churches in the northwestern corner of the Naren Kala Fortress. The fortification dates back to 300 AD and houses an unidentified, almost completely hidden, cross-shaped structure, which sits 36 feet underground. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that scientists will get to the bottom of the mystery, as the ruins are part of a UNESCO cultural heritage site, meaning excavation is prohibited, so far. This leaves researchers with little to no other options besides speculating on the structure's use based on what little they do know. Besides possibly serving as an early church, the mysterious structure may have been a reservoir or a Zoroastrian fire temple, according to a statement from scientists with the Mises National University of Science and Technology, who examined the site using a new technology called muon radiography. 
The new findings leave experts in doubt about the structure being intended as a water storage tank, although it may have been repurposed as one during the 17th and 18th centuries. But for now, and perhaps indefinitely, they have no choice but to put forth their best guess about what the building was used for. Number 3. Pre-Egyptian Neolithic Peoples Before ancient Egypt rose to power as one of history's most iconic empires around 3100 BC, it was preceded by the presence of Neolithic peoples, who occupied the region between 9300 and 4000 BC. In fact, these societies influenced later, more advanced civilizations, yet the question of exactly who they are remains unanswered. This lingering mystery is due in part to scholars' heavy focus on the Neolithic inhabitants' successors leaving the early residents understudied. But many important sites that could reveal information about these societies are difficult to access due to both their remote locations and the need for the modern government's permission to excavate. Researchers are now turning more attention to these Neolithic peoples, however. A 2018 study of six burial sites along an extinct seasonal lake, published in the journal African Archaeological Review, revealed that the region was wetter during the Neolithic period than it is now, although it wasn't exactly lush with vegetation but this enabled people to live in areas that are now simply unrealistic for human habitation because they're too dry. The archaeologists who conducted the study focused on the final Neolithic years between 4600 and 4000 BC, during which time they erected megaliths, shrines, and calendar circles, and began formally burying their dead in cemeteries. Researchers excavated cemeteries containing around 68 human skeletons and a vast array of artifacts, including pottery, seashells, cosmetic tools for women, stone weapons for men, and stone and ostrich shell jewelry. The people occupying one cemetery lived into their 40s and sometimes even their 50s, vastly outliving most humans of the time. They were also taller than most other people back then, with men measuring around 5.5 feet tall on average, while women were roughly 5.3 feet tall. Yet strangely, the archaeologists found another cemetery showing a much higher childhood mortality, a lower average lifespan, and small people. While the two cemeteries could have belonged to different populations, the occupants bear enough similarities for researchers to believe that they were shared between the same group of people. They have yet to account for the differences between the remains from one cemetery to the next, but theorize that class differences may offer a realistic explanation. Perhaps the smaller, shorter-living people were commoners, while the robust, longer-living and taller individuals were members of the elite. For now, however, experts are a long way from confirming this speculation, and they have many other unanswered questions about the enigmatic people who lived in the region before the famous Egyptians. Number 2. A Lost Chamber In August 2018, archaeologists announced the discovery of a living room-sized stone chamber beneath the province house in downtown Halifax in Nova Scotia, Canada. There is no mention of the underground vault in the historical record, making the find a complete surprise to everyone involved. It was first detected when a backhoe unintentionally hit what seemed like bedrock at first. But the material fell apart suspiciously easily, and upon further examination, the crew discovered the chamber, completely with a semicircular vaulted ceiling. They didn't enter the vault because doing so was deemed unsafe, but they investigated using remotely operated cameras. An archaeologist, April McIntyre, submitted the findings to the Canadian government, approximating the structure's dimensions as measuring 20 feet by 13 feet and about 10 feet high. Artifacts on the chamber's roof dating back between the late 18th and early 19th centuries provide the closest evidence of the vault's possible age. These items include German pottery dating back to the 17th century, a well, a coal chute, stone walls, storm drains, and drain pipes. McIntyre tried but failed to find any record of the structure existing, leaving her and her colleagues scratching their heads. In her report, she urged the government to investigate further using ground-penetrating radar. Number 1. Mysterious Human Relative Researchers were confused, to say the least, when in 2018 they discovered stone tools in the Philippines that predated the arrival of modern humans by roughly 600,000 years. A study detailing the artifacts, published in the journal Nature, describes how someone used the tools to butcher a rhinoceros before leaving them behind, along with the animal's unused remains. The rhino's bones, which bear cut marks and other evidence of deliberate mutilation, are between 631,000 and 700 
277,000 years old, meaning whoever crafted and used the tools was not a member of the Homo sapiens species. In other words, they were not a modern human, but an unidentified ancient ancestor who occupied the Philippines long before we did. The discovery upends previously held notions that early hominins could not access Pacific islands that were separated by land from vast swaths of ocean. After all, researchers assumed there was no way these species knew how to sail. Or did they? Evidence now points to the contrary of these long-assumed beliefs, suggesting that early hominins indeed made deep-sea crossings. So, who made the tools? Nobody knows. The crafters may have been Denisovans, a ghost lineage of hominins that interbred with Homo sapiens at one point. But the most likely candidate, according to experts, is Homo erectus, which they know for sure entered Southeast Asia at least 700,000 years ago, as evidenced by fossils discovered in Java, Indonesia. The hominins that lived in the Philippines may have been Homo erectus descendants with a condition called island dwarfism, which results when a species evolves to live optimally in a predator-free environment, causing them to shrink. How they cross the ocean is a complicated question that researchers admittedly don't know the answer to, but they speculate that the population made its way to the Philippines by way of Borneo and Palawan to the west, or from China and Taiwan to the north. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and while you're at it, leave any suggestions you have for what you'd like to see in future videos in the comments below. See you soon! Bye!